Josh Green, one of his best games as a Dallas Maverick, probably his best game. We were sitting next to Lauren yeah. Gunn, who is like the, <laughs> the preeminent like Josh Green apologist mm-hmm. in, in Mavs media. And uh, yeah, he had seven points, six boards, two assists, uh, hit a three, his second three of his NBA career, his NBA <laughs> yes. career I think, right? Second um, as many games, I think. And then his, yeah. Yeah, his, his second one, you know, in back-to-back nights. So why was this game so good for Josh Green? What stood out to you? I think his energy, his being able to make plays when he doesn't have the basketball in his hands, he finds a way to make an impact on the game, whether it be second chance opportunities to help guys hit three pointers, whether it be, you know, finding an open man with an extra pass, being able to move without the basketball. I think he had a nice, you know, alley-oop dunk, you know, on an out of bounds play. Like he had some really good moments in this game. And I think one of the things that I've wanted to see for Josh Green in terms of his development is, what one or two discernible skills does he have to give him opportunities to get out onto the floor? Yes. And what he started to develop is a basketball IQ that allows him to move without the basketball, make plays, hustle plays, energy plays. Those are things that are skills that he's developing. And then we saw him hit a couple of jump shots, hit a three pointer, hit a baseline jumper. Those are the kinds of things that you want to see in terms of Josh Green's development to give them the idea that, hey, he's got some actual discernible skills that will make him effective on the court without having to be a guy that needs to have the basketball in his hands. What can he do to help this team win? And he's starting to learn how to do those things, and that's encouraging you know, for a guy who's going to bring the energy night in and night out to be able to hit some shots for them. His little jump shot, like his little like mid-range jumper, yeah. has really like stood out. It has been something that has kind of surprised me this season. It's something that he's added. It seems like it's always moving and leaning and something, but <laughs> uh, but it goes in for him every once in a while, which which is good. What you're seeing with Josh Green is the confidence instilled when a coach is, is confident in you, right? Mm-hmm. Like I've bemoaned Jason Kidd for many different reasons and talked about the negatives and all that, but Reggie Bullock said the other day, that Jason Kidd is a player's coach. He inspires a lot of confidence and instills a lot of confidence in his players. Reggie Bullock said that. So if a player is saying that, then I I, I tend to believe that, that he, that at least Jason Kidd is attempting to do that. And that's one of Jason (laughs) Kidd's, you know, the thing that he is attempting to do, right, is be a player's coach and instill confidence. And so instilling confidence in a guy like Josh Green, we don't see what's happening behind the scenes. Maybe Jason Kidd is really, you know, pouring into him. Maybe he's he's pulling him aside every once in a while during practice or something and explaining things to him. But now you're starting to see Josh Green get some minutes and confidence instilled to him uh, monetarily by, by like playing him more and like mm-hmm. showing showing like, all right, I'm putting my money. Jason Kidd's like, I'm putting my money where my mouth is and putting you out there instead of Frank Nilakina or, you know, instead of more minutes for some of the other wings. And Josh Green's taking advantage of it. That confidence has been instilled in him, and uh, and that's great. His his defense was was pretty good in this game. He had a block. I think I think it was credited to Porzingis, but uh, Mavs highlights tweeted out. I retweeted it. It was just an incredible play where Josh Green was in front of his man the whole time. The man tried to take him to the basket, and then dished it off to of somebody else. Josh Green got the switch, and then was able to get the block and and alter the shot again. He's just he's he's all over the place and. Your, your point about his passing and his making the ability. Josh Green is a guy that helps your team turn a good shot into a great shot, mm-hmm. right? He is finding guys around the perimeter. There's a couple times in this game where Josh Green could have taken a shot. If he was Trey Burke, I think he would have taken a couple sure. of those shots, right? Those mid-range shots. But he's not that type of player. He throws cross-court passes all the way, whips one across to Tim Hardaway Jr. for an open three. He has a mid-range shot open, but instead he kicks it back to Dorian Finney-Smith, and Dorian hits a three. That was one of his assists. Like he's a guy that, that really makes passes better. Um, he's got to get better across the board at all those sure. things to be, you know, to be included in some of these maps games against better opponents. But yeah, it, it was, it's been great to see Josh green, um, really come along and, and show some life. I think, exactly. a, I think a lot of us had, had sort of given up on the idea of Josh green, but you have to remember like his rookie season was so random. Yeah. And so weird <laughs> yeah. and truncated and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff that this is essentially a rookie year for him. Right. I, that's kind of what I consider it. He got the, you know, a little bit of a, an introduction into the NBA, and now sure. we're finally seeing Josh in the NBA. Shout out to uh, Desmond Bain, because I think one of the reasons why we've seen some more Josh Green minutes is because Desmond Bain walked in here into the American Airlines Desmond, Center. Desmond Bain shamed the Mavs <laughs> into playing Josh Green. I think more. so. He dropped 29-9 and nine in here. And what was the conversation after the game? It's true. Oh, man, we should have drafted Josh Bain, or, uh, Desmond Bain. Should have got him. And now you've seen Josh Green get some more extended run and some minutes. 
and he's making the kind. I say that jokingly, but <laughs> well, Sterling it, Brown went down too. So it, exactly, there, there's some factors. Yeah, there. exactly. So give credit to Josh Green for continuing to develop, stay ready for his moment, <laughs> and he's been taking advantage of it. And I hope that's something for him going forward that he can use as a confidence builder, and more importantly, Jason Kidd can continue to develop the kind of trust in him that he can to help him become the kind of player that he believes he can be.